The Russell Brand on Six Music. We're talking about what have we done to deserve this when embarrassing or an awkward thing. What have we done to deserve the temperature in this studio, Russell? Um, <laughs> what's happened is, is when we came in, like um, it was uh, Natasha that must have it really ice cool in here. It was actually I, I was, it was just a normal yeah. cool room. Yeah, and well, I, was, I, I can't work like this. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't have a big tantrum, but I did go up to the to the, uh, the, the controls. Thing. The controls. Yes, I started jabbing at it and made it all really unbearably hot. Now we we sort of carried with ladies and about. Like, South Americans, we need to have a siesta <laughs> now. I can't cope with this. It's too much pressure. You, uh, I do like it to be warm. Matt thinks that my house is like an old folks home because, it's like, ridiculous. It, it is absolutely it is. It's designed. Every time I go there, I open the door and have to stand in the garden. <laughs> you do until you <laughs> learn your lesson. Come round in lingerie. It's, it's designed unnatural. so that the only natural response is to take your clothes off. That's why he keeps it in that climate. I like people to be nude when they're exactly. down my house. Yeah. Keeps you more relaxed. Also, though, I do have the telly up really loud like an old person as well. It's ridiculous. To drown out the screams. <laughs> There's no screams going on. It's not me that stamps mice to death as an obby. Now, we've got um, a text message here. It's from Pete, the bedroom man. We like that. Pete, the bedroom man, is... Was around last week. He's a friend of the show. It's Pete, who's, Pete's wife believes herself to be a guest host on this it's show. It's Mincy. Where's Minty? We want Minty to come back. Oh, Minty's contact us. Minty, who I fell in love with a little bit. Matt, you loved her as well, though. I know. But this girl Minty sends us text messages as well. Do you love her, Trev? I do, but I think she's taken a blighty one. What do you mean a blighty one? I think, well, I think she's, you know, had a shrapnel wound that's going to bring her home. Blimey, a blighty one. That's what you call a wound that's going to yeah. bring you home. Yeah. You'd know about that, is that, one, is that real, or...? That is real. No, I'm just, I'm, I don't is know like Minty well enough to know and that. Duck boards mm. and yes, exactly. It's from that one, yeah. I bet you read a lot of Siegfried Sassoon and Wilfred Owen sit about all wistful, didn't you? Oh, I do, you know. A little piece of England. Week. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, let's read out this from Pete the Bedroom Man, which is a confident thing to call yourself, isn't it? Yeah, but doesn't that mean it's his job? Like he's a cop? No, I think he means he's a <laughs> cop, like he builds bedrooms. <laughs> it's a bit euphemistic. He might as well say Pete the Sex Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's wait for his next text. Perhaps it will say that. <laughs> Working in a client's house and having to get home for my wife to go to work. There you go. The clerk well, in the clerk's house, see, he, put, he installs bedrooms, I bet Hold you. Hold on, let's work this out. Working in the client's house and having to get home from my wife to go to work, the client was also going out, said, just shut the door after you. When it came to time to leave, I was chased back up the stairs by a large Rottweiler who kept me there until the owner returned home a few hours later. No mobiles in those days, in the doghouse with my wife. Pete, the bedroom man, <laughs> and in an actual house with a dog as well. That's my nightmare, I'm scared of dogs. Why is he scared of dogs for? What have you done to him? Um, I was attacked by an Alsatian as a boy. Hmm. And, uh, <laughs> I think I was scared of him before that anyway. Do I just don't understand him. I've never had a pet. I don't understand him when they're happy or people go, oh, he's all right. He's just, he he's likes playing. You. And I just don't understand him. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand the language. Whereas me, I'm a bit like Dr. Doolittle. I'm in touch with him. Right. Now, listen, what I think about Pete the Bedroom Man's text is that he been having an affair and he's using this Rottweiler ruse to cover that up. He goes, if oh, you were having an affair with someone, you'd know they had a Rottweiler downstairs. No, I think he was having an affair, right, and there's no Rottweiler involved the Rottweiler. at all. The Rottweiler is a, a, a confection oh, okay. of his imagination. Yeah, what if his wife's listening? Oh, well, actually, actually is. Idea, a whole idea. He hopes that she's going to listen and then sure. find out. But surely if he's calling himself Pete the Bedroom Man, she might have an inkling. She might say, Pete, how did you get this Bedroom Man handle? <laughs> I'd oh. certainly not put it about. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a terrible lover. Pete, get in touch with us because we want to know why on earth you're treating your wife in his appalling fashion <laughs> than exposing her on air and everything. Here, what, we've got... Like you know, um, it's you know Pete the bedroom man. His wife is called Wendy, from the borough. She writes, uh, he was dipping his screwdriver last week. Oh. Didn't believe it for one minute. He likes to think of himself as a joiner, bedroom fitter, but gives a ready-made excuse for that carry-on moment. Wendy, the gullible wife in the borough, thought oh, she's reproaching right. herself now. That marriage well, is I'm disintegrating. Right, he's a bedroom fitter. Everyone else thought it was a boast. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, okay. Why is she in the borough? What does that mean? Middlesbrough. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a euphemism either. <laughs> she's, not, <laughs> she's not referring to them to being particularly fertile. It's not like a trench of fertility that she carries around with her. It's something to do with rabbits. She's a bit of a bunny or something. No, it's not burrow. It's borrow. Uh, okay. Middlesbrough. Yeah, like, well, I thought it was even that or something to do with Tolkien. You know, like the Shire. She's from the borough or something. Oh, for God's sake, oh, Trish. God. What's but it's actually, it's actually she's, she's from, from the borough of Middlesbrough.